to me. I just walked by you made that noise. What is up guys, Brandon here, I'm your host commentator of Finding Street Outs. if you're new here please be sure to subscribe as I post every single day all of the latest Karen getting triggered, Karen meltdowns and public freakout compilations. Please also like the video before we get into today's first clip. So, in today's first clip we have a lady who has bumped into two older guys crossing a bridge. Now, this is one of the most bizarre freakouts I've ever seen because this Karen starts freaking out that they're actually looking at her in a weird way as she's walking across the bridge. I know, it doesn't make much sense, but she decides to confront them and basically say, can you stop looking at me and stop following me around? These two guys say that they're not following her at all and that she's gone mad. So they actually get their phone out for their protection because she's saying that she's going to call the police and basically get them arrested. This is insane and it gets to the point where she actually starts following them around and it turns into one big joke because they actually get more people involved. Check this one out, it is absolutely hilarious. You're harassing me, I just walked by you made that noise. What did you say the term was? What was the term? Have a good day, ma'am. Leave. You can't tell me to leave. This is a public walkway. Do you exactly. even live here? Yep. No, you don't. I live wherever I go. This is a public walkway. You're not allowed to tell me to leave. We're not telling you to leave, but you just, you just told, told us. Me to leave. Okay. You just had a term for us. No, you just Have told a good me day. to leave. Come on. <laughs> Have a good day, ma'am. We're just going to leave. Because We're going to leave. What was Go the term? Ahead, keep typing. You're not allowed to tell me I can leave a public walkway. That's against the law. I'm not telling you to leave. You're good. You already told me to leave. I did tell you to leave, but... You're not allowed to tell me to leave a public walkway. Well, I'll leave. Well, I'm going to let you go to the top, You are not allowed to tell me to leave a public walkway. Well, you're not allowed to harass us. All we said was hello. Have a good day. All we said was hello. You're not allowed to harass us. All we said was hello. Have a good day. All we said was hello. We're grown adults just you're like you. We're not, you don't have to leave. So I don't actually know where they are, but I think it may be somewhere in Miami. I might be wrong. Anyone from America, if you recognize this area, please comment down below and let us know. But what happens next in part two is it actually gets even worse. This group of people who are falling out over thinking they're watching each other, it's, uh, it doesn't even make sense, guys. This one's so hard to commentate. But she actually goes and sits down at a bar and they also go to that bar and they order some drinks and they somehow involve the entire bar. Yeah, it's literally this beach bar where they sell cocktails and like sodas and drinks and they involve the whole load of people who are also getting drinks in the argument as well. I can't quite believe it because not only are there now four people involved in this weird argument, but another seven get involved, including the person serving at the bar. Check it out. What's yeah. wrong? This one right here. You I'm gonna call the cops on me. Yeah. You're welcome to. Yeah. yeah. So to her was hello. <laughs> But I want to know why. Because I'm on the walkway. He tells me to get off the public walkway. And I'm sorry you guys, but just imagine for one second that you're the lady working behind the bar at this place and these two people come up to you just having one of the funniest arguments ever, like this elderly Karen and this younger guy literally saying that, it's just like she claims that he told her to get off of the bridge when he then says no I didn't and they're literally arguing over this in front of everyone and trying to get everyone else involved. Bear in mind she claims she just called the police and they're actually on their way. Check out the next part of this freak out because it just keeps going and she sits at the bar next to them. You told us to leave first. Okay, I'm calling the cops. Ma'am, hurry up and call them. I will. That's your agenda. Stay here till they come. Okay, I'll be very crazy. Later. I'll get the beach patrol. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Nobody's done anything. Do Thank you. Well, I'm just saying. I'm I'm I'll be quiet. I'm with you, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Sweetie, don't even entertain you guys. Don't even entertain you guys. I think it's weird following the trooper. I, I just think it's crazy, but yeah, it's not worth it either. So there you have it. What was once a peaceful, relaxing cocktail bar at the side of the beach 
has now erupted into a massive argument where security have been called, the bar owner, the bar manager and the bar maid are now involved in an argument over who can stand on a bridge. Yes, that's right. This is why this channel exists for videos like this. Please make sure you like the video. On to the next one. And ladies and gentlemen, from the front office, Captain speaking. Uh, good evening. I just showed up here to bring you guys to Houston, and uh, was made up aware of the situation in the back. Unfortunately, at this point, we're going to have to deplane the aircraft. Now this is a video you've probably never seen before and I've never seen this happen on an aircraft ever. Usually people who don't want to follow the rules or wear their seatbelt or put a mask on actually get told to leave and if they don't leave the police come on board and take them off. But in this case something really weird happened. After this lady was basically trying to say that she didn't want to wear a mask because she felt uncomfortable and didn't agree with it, rather than getting her to leave they actually get the whole plane to deboard. Yes, that's right, they get everyone to get off the plane, and I don't know what actually happened next, but check out this TikTok that I found online, and if any of you have any more information, then comment down below, because I've never seen this happen before, ever. Because two years ago it was 15 days. When is this going to end? Aren't you tired of this? Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, from the front office, Captain speaking. Good evening. I just showed up here to bring you guys to Houston and uh, was made up aware of a situation in the back. Unfortunately, at this point, we're going to have to de deplane the aircraft. Now we've got some uh, individuals on board who are not following the FAA. We so gotta go! Yes, we gotta go! go. Your bags. I'm so close. Time to be departing to Houston. Uh, go ahead and uh, head up the jet bridge, but hang out in the boarding area. Further announcements. Solved. Anymore. <laughs> that's so crazy. We all had to get off our flight for two entitled people. So I feel like they kind of felt like these people were going to go crazy or something because rather than taking off, taking them off with everyone already on the plane, the police didn't go on the plane until everyone had actually deboarded and left back into the waiting area. It was then that around five to six police officers went onto the plane because the people who didn't wear their mask actually stayed there. So pretty crazy. Anyway, on to the next one. So this lady at Taco Bell actually went in and got some food and for some reason she started arguing with one of the employees really badly at the end and the employee just loses it. She takes her hat off and starts flat out arguing with her as if she knows her outside of her job. All of this, yeah, is over a receipt for the order. Now the lady working at Taco Bell claims she doesn't actually have to give the customers a receipt but I'm pretty sure you do. I don't know what the laws are in the US, but in the UK you have to have a receipt for the customer if they ask for one. And this lady's refusing to give the customer a receipt and just starts arguing with her for like two minutes straight. Check this one out and comment down below what you think. I'm really scared of you. You're hey, going to jail. Hey, it's okay. okay I'm you sure. lose. Hey, it's okay. okay. I never tried to step behind the counter. Okay, because you've been real disrespectful. And I tried to work with I you. just want my receipt to show my money's back. Like I said. So once I've been watching this video for around 20 seconds, I actually figured out that this was the manager. Now, this is really weird because not only is this the manager, but she also claims it's their policy that they don't have to give a receipt. You guys in America, if you know this, my American viewers, do Taco Bell have to give a receipt if you take an order from them? Because I feel like this employee is just having a really bad day and she's super stressed out, but at the same time, this lady does kind of deserve her receipt. You know, she may have like some business where she's claiming the food on expenses because it's a lunch where she's out on a meeting. You know, it could be just something like that. It's really important that she just needs to have. Or maybe she is just trying to have an argument with her and annoy the manager. Who knows? Anyway, let's keep watching the rest of it. Oh, so 
As you just heard from the ending there, we had to blur a lot of swear words because this lady just lost it. She basically says she doesn't get paid enough for this and she's just had enough. So I'm pretty sure she does actually have to give the receipt, but because she's just losing it and having a massive meltdown, she decides to stand her ground and risk pretty much losing her job. Crazy, what do you guys think? Comment down below. And also, before you leave today, please take two seconds out of your day to click that thumbs up button and comment down below any feedback you have. It really helps the channel grow and also adds value to the freak out community. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the red button as well as the bell notification to be notified every single day when I upload the freak out videos. I try to source as many good quality ones as possible while staying within the YouTube partner program rules and the policies, allowing everyone to enjoy these videos, be entertained and also keeping YouTube happy. Thank you for watching today's video. Like, share, subscribe, you know the drill. It's been your host commentator Brandon and I will see you